What? What the fridge? Wait, he thought he had queen b7, but I just block? What the fridge? Explain Title Tuesday in Fortnite terms. Title Tuesday is 11 rounds. You play against 11 different players. Whoever has the most points at the end, if you win a game, you get one point. If you draw a game, you get half a point. So if you win 10 games and draw one game, that means you have 10. Uh, you beat 10 players, you get 10 points. One draw is half, so you have 10 and a half out of 11. And then we see what the scores are at the end. Normally, the winning score is somewhere around 10 points out of 11. So effectively, two draws or one loss. Let's play Knight F3 and G3. Thanks for Luther Sloan for the 18 months. Thank you so much to the seventh sum for the 100 zero fondity for the prime and Gideon 99 for the tier one. Thank you to Orion BT for the four months. Thank you, thank, thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna play King's Indian attack here. Keep it simple. Have I ever played Black Jack? I have played Black Jack before. Uh, let's play E4 here in rookie one. Uh, 11 out of 11. I believe I'm still the only player who's gone 11 out of 11 in the modern format of Title Tuesday. So. It's pretty wild. Let's play e5, knight f1. King's Indian attack here, like uh, our, our famous world champion Bobby Fischer used to play all those many, many years ago. I think it's going to be Jeff Jeff for the three months. You play h4, h5, g4. Um, okay, he goes there. I can play c3. I can also just go knight h2 or knight e3. I think I'm going to go knight h2 here, just very solid. Nothing super wild. a5 is what I think Rasmus Savain played against me sometime back. Goes queen d8, which I don't actually love. I can play c3 here, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go c3 here. I don't really like queen d8. Um, because now I can start to angle and sacrifice. He probably has to go like bishop f8 here at some point. Okay, but now I go c4, and now I should be better, I think. Because after takes, takes, the scope is much better for me here. Does knight b6? I think. Do I play queen c1 or do I play queen e2 is a big question mark here. My instinct says queen e2, although queen c1 keeping an eye on the pawn also makes a lot of sense. Queen c1, a4. I mean, the sacrifice looks very strong. So I'm going to go queen c1. Idea is very simple here. I want to maybe sack. I also want to play rook d1. And I think I'm better here. How do I rank my 11 out of 11 uh, performance versus my other highlights? I mean, it's nice, but it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, queen d3 is a very strange move to me. Um, now do I play knight d2 here or not is also a big question. Knight d2 is a, a move. D3 is a move. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I kind of like knight D2, so I'm going to play it. Because I have bishop E4 here. I'm looking to sacrifice again, and this looks very, very good for me. I really don't like queen D3. It just feels wrong somehow. I feel like there's something bad that's going to happen on the king side here for my opponent. I think there's a Bauschi games for the prime. Things are Bauschi games. Okay, he goes queen D... He goes rook A7. Um, I could play b3 here. I can play bishop f1. Sacking is probably not very good. Rook e4, also an interesting move here. Um, looking to really get in there, but it doesn't look like it does anything right off. So um, my assumption is that bishop e4 should be right to hit the queen. And I'm probably going to go g4, maybe knight g4 somewhere here as well. Actually, I think I should just go back with the knight to f3. He's going to play knight d4. I can always trade and play b3. I think I'm doing okay here. I won't go so far as to say I'm doing great. Now, if I take on h6, what's happening? Bishop h6. Can I do it or not is a big question. Um, yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for the big, big cheese here. With queen takes h6, a checkmate lurking. I have e6 here. I mean, this looks very, very dangerous. I'll pre-move queen h6, I think. I'll, I should... Eh, do I pre-move or not? Okay, I'll, he takes... Of course, I take back with the knight because now I can lift the rook here if he tries to take and go there. He's probably thinking he has queen d3, but I have rook e3 or rook g4. And I mean, again, it looks horribly scary. I take. I even have bishop g7 maybe and queen h6. Very, very scary here. It's not clear cut. I'm just thinking about this line here. Also, very committal choice by me to play this. I'm not sure it was a gr great decision. Um, I mean, I have rook g4. I think I have to go for this with rook g7. I think this is still good for me, but it's a little bit tricky. Okay, take with check. 
we go here he has to go queen f5 we trade the queens i take on f7 i play e6 i mean hard to judge i mean there, there's a lot of stuff hanging here like i have e6 i have rook d1 hard to judge what's happening in this game okay it goes king g8 I can obviously check here I can also play e6 maybe I think e6 is a good move here just to protect the pawn although maybe not we'll see I could have made a check too and just played like b3 but whatever he goes rook c7 which I think is a mistake because of bishop f4 um yeah I think this is just a mistake because now I attack the rook he can't move it up he can't move his bishop I'm I have h6 h7 which is also very very scary here my assumption is is that I'm winning here that's just my assumption but we'll see getting very low on time he plays rook b7 and now I think h6 takes h7 and b3 should just be winning but I need to be careful I can also play b3 but h6 looks right so I just go b3 next move and I think this is just winning yeah let's go b3 attack the knight I could have played rook c1 also because I'm threatening h7 and bishop e5 here this should just be ggs it goes bishop f6 so I can take b7 I can also flick the check I can also just take the b shop and I'll just take the b shop instead and now I have e7 h7 wide peepos ggs um how was my weekend my weekend was good let's go rook d1 rook d7 but I streamed yesterday too okay rook d7's a move um everything wins here it's just a question of what the most precise approach is and I think this is the most precise approach okay it's just gonna oh, it goes there but now I check and it's just mate and one all right we got a win in game number one um so far so good one up one down can't complain uh Nihal is playing Dubov is playing a lot of people in this game uh Dubov is I guess winning because of the bar because of rook c6 rook c8 but tricky game thank you so much to Hingle McCringleberry for the nine months thank you to Anthro for the 15 thank you to King me for the 12 thank you to Yusuball with the prime and glum hippo with the tier one thank you so much um thank you I am insane I know I'm insane but that's that's what happens when you spend your whole lifetime playing a game um just rook c7 next move or rook g6 here I mean everything wins queen e6 rook g6 everything wins for white here oh yeah just take rook h1 takes queen king here takes white still has a bunch of extra pawns so you just take the rook king g3 actually wins also all, all moves lead to Rome these are trocar for the 200 bits thank you so much trocar appreciate it. thank you so much um yeah queen f5 just won the pawn easy peasy lemon squeezy on twitch after a long time hi Igar. how's it going nick best hope you're doing well you could even just sack the queen for the rook i mean I, all, all everything wins so how do i make it look so easy um just years and years of playing the game and that's how it goes it's no different than when i watch tifu play fortnite same thing i watch tifu play fortnite i watch him i got really pumped up he makes it look so easy and then i go try to do the same things and i look like a total idiot so just how it goes thank you to lunar moose for the six months appreciate it. thank you so much to lunar moose yep takes queen seven queen g7 how can we never face a gym in round one because it is for title players and there are a lot of people who are not gm to play say doobie doobie doo doobie doobie doo scooby doobie doo exactly yes scooby doobie doo so yeah all right what else do we have um let's see we have a bunch of other games going on msb is losing to a 2500 what the heck f3 um uh f3 f2 wow you just take the rook any courses coming out soon so you guys um I, I know that like on chess.com you see um you see you know non-stop ads for levy's levy's course uh that's apparently being released in the near future on chessable I will be doing courses as well for those of you guys who are wondering um so yeah for some reason when Danny did a state of the union or whatever sometime back he literally mentioned every single person except for me I don't know why um but he mentioned basically everybody he mentioned like Levy Botez I, I forget who else he, I think he mentioned Fabiano 
Um, and he mentioned everybody, and um, he didn't mention me, but I will. I will be doing. Uh, I will be doing stuff for Chessable. Chessable courses are very expensive. I am. I actually agree. You know, I was looking. I, I mean, I probably shouldn't say this because I'm. You know, I'm with Chess.com, but I was on Chessable the other day looking. I saw these courses like for like a hundred bucks, and I got to be honest, like a hundred bucks is a lot of money for like a course. It, it really is. I was. I, I mean, I got to be honest. I was. I was really kind of surprised when I saw it. Like, it's that's expensive. It's expensive, seriously. Um, Gotta just reported his first opponent. Okay, well let's let's take a look at the archives. Name is uh, Tiger V Shape, right? Shlape is it? Is it? It's a Tiger V. Um, how do you spell it? Is this how you spell it? Tiger V. How do you spell it? No e. Tiger V. Uh, Shpe like this. Tiger V. Okay, whatever. I'll look later. Oh, it's Shilape. Shilape. Okay. 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 Let, let, let me just make sure I got that right. Games archive. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll look after. Did he lose? Let me. Did, did he lose? Um, control V. Let's see. Did he? Did he lose? He drew a twenty-four sixty-two. Okay, we'll take a look later. We'll take a look after you guys. Um, okay, let's play D five here. Let's just take with a pawn. Um, good G six here. Thank you so much to post for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to post. Um, uh, I guess I'll play bishop f5 here, trade the b shops again. I'm going to go e6, maybe bishop d6 here. Just keep it very simple. Trade some bishops. Uh, I can play knight f6 here. I mean, I can also just trade if I want. I don't really want to trade, so I'm going to go knight f6 here. Maybe not a great move. I could have played knight to 7 too, but. Again, I can always trade here if I want. I don't really want to trade. I also don't really want to castle. I think I'm just going to go here and trade for the knight. Has Gata ever reached 2,700 feet? Gata's peak rating was like 2,760. Gata was a boss back in the day. Uh, let's go here. Gata was like 2,760 at his peak, I believe. Um... Now I can play h6. Should I be afraid of h5, g5, knight h5, takes, takes? I should be. So let's go here to stop h5. I don't really like h4, actually, conceptually. It feels a little bit weakening. It weakens some critical squares here. So I don't really like h4 as a move. Okay, he goes bishop d3. Now, my assumption is I should play knight g4 to take space, although he does have queen g5. So maybe have knight h5 also. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna go knight h5 here with the idea of playing knight to f4, queen f4. If he goes knight e5, I'm gonna go f6 and then build a big black center with e5. I also have knight f4 somewhere, so let's go here. Let's take. <laughs> okay, because I have e5, I have knight f4. Many options here. I should be doing quite well objectively. Things are just to my Sture for the prime and a Saya for the tier one. I also have queen f4 as well to force queens off, so I think I'm doing pretty well. But we'll see. Go C4, which is a good, very, very good move, actually, for my opponent. Um, yeah, that's kind of annoying, actually. I didn't think you would find that. All right, do so. I can play Rook D8. I can play Knight F4. Oh, why did I do this? This was fairly careless by me. I guess I'll just play Rook A8. Same idea to play E5 here at some point, and just go Knight F4. Take more space. I'll pre-move C takes D5. Thank you, Dr. Huggy MD for the eight months. Thank you so much, Dr. Huggy. Okay, it goes Rook D1, which is also a very, very good move. Um, now I'm kind of want to play H6 G5 here, which feels very strange. Doesn't feel right, but I'm ooh. it really doesn't feel right. But fudge it. Let's just do it. Hopefully, this isn't some kind of huge blunder by me. It could be. I could have actually no. I should have played Queen F4. That's what I should have played. I'm gonna go G5 here to try and expand on the king side. Probably is gonna take if G3. I think I can take H4, even sack maybe. Do I take with F or H? I guess I take with H probably. I think there's a fox after dark for the prime. He goes rook e3. So if I take, he wants rook h3, I guess. I, I can play knight f4 here. Um, I don't really love my position. 
also go rookie seven but I feel like I need to do something quickly so I'm gonna go knight of four knight g6 to start and then I'm gonna stack the two towers see what he does I still have e5 lurking if I want to play it depending how what he plays here he goes g3 I go back attack the pawn h5 I have 97 or knight h8 both playable let's play it interesting so I go 97 idea knight of five bishop h3 okay logical I can play knight f5 here I can also play f5 if I want to I'm gonna just go f5 here with rook f6 maybe guard the pawn he's gonna play like queen e2 I go king f7 hard to judge okay go c5 which I really don't like um because now he closes the queen side he plays f4 which is a move but I don't really like it I think I assume that I'm somehow okay here if I play this correctly I don't really want to go g4 although g4 with knight g8 knight f6 does have some bite to it actually let's go for it I'm gonna play g4 knight g8 go here rook f7 rook e7 he's gonna try to expand on the queen side very quickly here I assume I'll go here and knight f6 knight e4 is incoming again very double-edged position here hard to judge okay I go here if I get the knife to e4 I assume I'm better I'm also threatening to win a pawn on h5 as well so either white breaks through on the queen side or I win the game essentially now takes is a move is it a good move I think it's fine it's a free juicer for the end game so why not just gobble it um I think I go back still keep 94 in play I'm now up a pawn in the end game which I assume will matter I'll play 94 if he takes I take I have queen d5 now with e3 ideas kind of starting to fall apart a little bit for my opponent like queen d5 is a big threat here does it anyway okay so I go queen d5 I can also play rook c8 I can also go queen b7 maybe rook c8 looks quite reasonable rook d8 also a move let's think about this for a second queen d5 queen d5 rook e3 maybe and then maybe just rook b8 or something I think I'm gonna go queen d5 here idea is to play e3 check he has to do something like rookie three or queen e3 I assume or a king move I can obviously take but I don't love it because of rook d6 and some d5 pawn push I think the way I'm gonna play this is probably just how do I do this maybe just rook d8 no then rook c6 I think rook b8 makes sense if he takes I take and then I get a double stack in here and I'm just crashing through if he takes I also think I have rook b1 anyway which should be good although it's not clear cut and he goes b6 I assume I just take so he takes so I guess I go wait queen c4 rook b1 go here so I have rook b1 take now I'm up a lot of pawns I have rook c7 this should be winning queen b2 is good I think e3 is just good enough I just have to check wait a second uh oh check and win the rook there we go yep ggs another win thanks so much to poli side for the 19 at ace except for the tier one and lo low down tv for the prime another win two up two down so far so good let's see who else is still playing um let's see Nihal is still playing Nihal is losing uh-oh h3 h2 there's just no way to stop it I mean h h2 h2 wow Nihal just gets blown away by a 26 30 fm is Nihal gonna turn into Gata I don't know but let's let's take a look at Gata's game because that's what you guys all want to see archive um control V Tiger Tiger V shape let's see okay round number one for Gata let's take a look at this game what do we have here okay we have um some kind of normal normal Spanish okay very normal so far we got a Marshall from Chakra Chess and Gata plays D3 now this is already not the best move um kind of funny because I was actually looking at some Marshall games this morning so d3 is not the best move but he does it anyway okay all looks normal b4 okay looks like white is better here so what does God have to complain about okay ah there's Bishop e4 he gets knight c6 but Bishop c5 Rook d6 and basically it's already petering out to a draw 
Although it looks like God got a little bit lucky here. He could have lost this game too. Okay, game doesn't drop. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at this game. It's like, hmm, I, I don't know. I don't see anything even remotely resembling something weird. All right, what do we have? Fabiano on two out of two. Everybody's on two out of two. Let's watch uh, Dulles. Dulles one, not shocking. He's on two out of two like everybody else. So, so far, pretty standard. Magus game? No, I'm not going to. Um, did I make a statement on XQC rolling Andrea? What are you talking about? I think a chill game for the three. Beast Joe for the two. Stuff with Butter for the three. He his wife for the 13 months. Thank you so much. Um... Uh, do you think any other chess creators on YouTube may have to leave the YouTube platform because none of their videos are getting recommended to anyone except for Levy's? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Leave to go where exactly? Like, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, he flagged her on time mods? Okay. I, I don't know. Oh, XCC adopted Andrea last week. She had 15 seconds. He had 10 minutes. Okay, why is that surprising? Um, I mean, wh why is that surprising? I mean, even I couldn't beat X. Even even I couldn't beat XQC with 15 seconds. I I, I just I, I don't get what the point is. Why is that surprising? No, I I mean that from a chess standpoint. Like I couldn't beat XQC with 15 seconds on the clock. Like I, I just I don't know why people are acting like that. I mean, with 15 seconds, nobody's gonna win. That's just a reality. So I, I, I don't I, I don't get the point. I could I don't I don't think I could. If I was sniping, I could because I would know what his moves are, so I could anticipate what the pre moves. But no, I mean with 15 seconds, no chance. I would lose that. I mean I might win the I might win a match against him, but it would be something very close, like five to f like six six to four or something like that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, all right. Moving on. Thank you so much to Lean Horn for the 19 months. Thank you so much to Mike Cherna for the two. Thank you so much to T-Street for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, round number three. We're playing uh, I Am Javi. Let's play Knight of 3 G3. Same stuff. Very simple. Uh, I'm subscribed to many chess content creations, but for some reason, I always get recommendations of Levy's videos only. I mean, frankly, it's probably because the algorithm is just pushing it. I mean, it gets, it gets the most views. The algorithm is going to push what is getting the most views at the end of the day. That is simply reality. Uh, I'm going to play B3, Bishop B2 here. Um, so, yeah, I think it's Richard Wolf Ben for the 27 months. Which, I mean, in, in, the, in, the bigger, in the bigger context of things, is kind of quite scary. Not in so much as it relates to chess, but just the fact that the algorithms can basically push content with no oversight, no, no nothing, and, like, basically, you know, people start seeing things a certain way because of that. Which, I mean, is, like, in, in the bigger picture is, I think, something that's very, very bad, actually. So, like, no no joke, seriously. Let's take and play, like, 92 and C4 here. I think it's a Victor DC for the eight months. Like, I mean, chess is just one small thing. But, like, if you think about the bigger picture, it's, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I find it kind of kind of scary to think about. So, I'd rather not even think about it, honestly. So, when you say that, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm going to go C4 here. Queen A2, I think I have Bishop D4 and Rook A1. So, that's why I'm playing C4 here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that 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 is, like, yeah. Unless it's your content, LOL. I mean... I guess you could say that on, on one hand, but still. Okay, now, bishops... Wait, I need to think here, because this is actually tricky. Takes, 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 queen a2. Bishop c... Bishop e5. c3. Bishop c3 seems like a safe move, so I'm going to play to attack the queen. Hey, so a mace man for the eight months. Thank you to Sam Wynn Stanley for the prime. Thank you so much. So, anyway, all right, bishop c3, queen b6. I can also go queen c2 here. If d4, I just move the bishop back. Plays d4, which I don't really love. I go bishop b2. I Well, I can take the rook here, which is a big question mark. Do I take the rook or not? Um, my assumption is that I sh should take the rook and just play this and just not believe him. It's also quite scary, though. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I, I suspect I should have taken the rook, but I'm just not convinced that it's that it's okay. So I'm gonna play knight f3 and probably knight e5 or something. 
I can also go E3 here, maybe to open up the center. E3 takes, takes. Yeah, I'm gonna play E3 here. Try to chop the center a little bit. Break it up. Um, can still go Bishop B7, I guess. But I'll pre-move FB3, because if he takes, obviously I have to take. Do I manage my YouTube Shorts channel? Do you mean the Clips channel? No, I, I do not have any interaction with that. So no, I have no interaction with the, the Clips channel. Thank you so much to Go Apple, Go Apple Plex Pi O. Thank you for those two, two months. Yeah, normally the way Clips channels work, for those of you guys who are wondering, and I'm, or, and I'm pretty sure this also applies to Levy's Clip channels. Basically, what you do is uh, you find someone who's like really hungry, wants to publish like clips and shorts. And what, and what they do is basically you, you just hand it off to them at like a 50 50 split because it's sort of it's one of those things where it should filter people through to your main channel so you just do it as a 50 50 split and you kind of it's i mean i don't want to say like charity is the wrong word but it's kind of something you do like that and if it takes off it takes off and it's great for everybody but ultimately the goal is to eventually push people towards your main channel um okay now wait i take and i have c5 here wait a second wait 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 a second wait a second C5. Wait a second. Something about this move looks wrong. Knight D4, Bishop G2, King G2, Rook D4 is, does not work. Okay, I don't want to burn through all my clock here, so wait a second. I think I'm still going to go C5, though. It's going to get very weird soon. I mean, I still have rookie one. Whoa, he goes queen c6. Queen c6 was the only move. Wait, now? No, now I'm just up a juicer. Now I'm just going to win the game. He had to go queen c6 to have checkmate. Yeah, now he just loses. Strange. Thank you so much to Holder of the Crown for the 18 months. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nice marketing, of course. Uh, not sure about Levy shorts all starting with appealing skills of non-related chess images. It's a weird approach. Well, whatever whatever works though. At the end of the day, that's how YouTube is. Again, I could say many things about the broader about the broader world based off of what you see happening on YouTube and what's pushed. Again, like because it, it is kind of scary to me on some level when I see some of these things. Um, I can play knight d2 here. E3, I just take knight g4. I think I have knight c4 and I'm okay. Okay, so I just take knight g4, knight c4 is my move. I should be okay. Let me think. I have rook f3, which is also a move. But knight c4 has got to be the right move just to hold all the glue here. Takes and queen e2. I mean, it's only a pawn. It's not like I'm, I'm necessarily winning here. But a pawn is a pawn, as we say in Russia. Um, he goes f5, which I don't like. Oh, e4, he's got rook e8. So I can't really go e4. Okay, I'm burning too much clock here. I could play E. No, no, no. Okay, focus. Why am I thinking so long here? Yeah, I guess I'll just go H3 and Rook D1. I'm thinking too much here. Time to trade some Rooks. Maybe Queen F3. I'm up a pawn and I'm panicking, which is not a good sign. I'll go here. Okay, I think he missed something there. I think he had something much better. Uh, so go here. I want queen e5 at some point. Oh, wait, no. If he takes, I can also take that way. Wait, knight g5? What does knight g5 do? Go here. I mean, I have h4 here, too. I also have queen c4 check. Like, there are a lot of tricks here. What? What the fridge? Wait, he thought he had queen b7, but I just block? What the fridge? I just lined up the legendary triple stack, and now I can just move my king even. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go... Yeah, I think I'm going to go here, force him to trade. And I don't think he can dodge it because I have check on c3. Yeah, I just go check, and there we go. Game over. I think there's Sebastian for the gift of sub. Yeah, it was very weird. I think I was in trouble for one move. I think right right here, he had knight... I, oh, I thought he had knight g5 right here. <laughs> knight d6, what a move. Okay. H4 is better, but I go here. Yeah, he just blundered. Okay, three out of three. So far, so good. Round number four should be coming up pretty soon. 
Um, let's see, Fabiano is playing. Fabiano is losing king here. Yeah, Fabiano is losing. King b3, king c4. He's losing. Yeah, just king c4. Oof. Ooh, Fabiano gonna lose. Fabiano, is he gonna turn into a Gata? I doubt it somehow, but yeah, A6. Brutal. Fabiano loses, so he is now on two out of three. Um, so yeah, Fabiano, two out of three. Chat distract you in the middle of it? Maybe a little bit, but yeah. So. Uh, would you take it with the other rook? No, I would've taken the same way. Must be, must be the new haircut. Fabiano's haircut? Yeah, possibly. What is a loss that had you absolutely gutted? Well, for those of you guys who are wondering, make sure to go to my YouTube channel, GM Hikaru. I posted a video recently of my worst loss ever. It was against Magnus Carlsen from the Zurich Chess Challenge, played in 2014. So that, that is a game that was very, uh, very, very bad. Why is YouTube scary? Well, I would just say, frankly, when you see when you see videos, and again, this actually is not not about Levy, even though people obviously assume that I'm saying this about Levy, but uh, the fact is, like a lot a lot of what the algorithm pushes, like you will see like really short titles, randomness just out there, and when algorithms can push that sort of stuff across the board, it's just it's very scary for, in terms of where society is going. Thank you so much to Go White Pro for the Prime. Um, that yeah, that's, that's not actually that, that's not about Levy. That's just in general. You see you see it on YouTube quite a bit, and it's just like. I don't know. You, you worry. I worry about society sometimes, or the future of society. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, do I think Fabian is better than Levy? Yes. Good question. Thank you. I'm not answering that question. Yeah. But again, we don't need to get into all this political stuff. God is reporting again. Yeah. God is reporting again. Yeah. Yikes. 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 Yeah. Don't worry. You've been a good user. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just like, generally speaking, it, it is, yeah. I don't know, I see some of those things and it makes me wonder where society is going. So, all right. Um, what's your biggest blunder GM match? I already said it was when I played against, um, when I played against Magnus and Zurich Chess Challenge. So, okay, let me find Goddess game. Okay, games, archive, control V. Tiger V shape, he lost to a 2591. Sorry, I actually had it here already. Let's let's take a look at this very deep game from God of Kamsky. let's see. Okay, looks normal. God is playing some like slow stuff. Okay, okay. All blacks was very very obvious so far. French defense without the without the bad light square bishop, but white does have the bishop combo. So here we go. Here we go. Normal. Okay, God is just winning. As you can see, this is already a great position for white. God for some reason doesn't play h6, which I'm a little confused by. Because h6, g6, there's a huge hole on the dark squares here with like knight g5, queen f3, and crashing through. So it's very weird he goes queen b1, but okay. It keeps going. Still a very good position for Gata. Okay. Okay, trades of queens, already a little bit dubious. Um, But okay, I mean... I mean, white's still much better here. Like, I mean, God is just better. Exactly what am I missing? Wait, God is winning. What? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. He... <laughs> oh man. Okay, he just he 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 gets uh, he gets skewered. Actually, speaking of uh, the bots that we were playing against, so he gets skewered. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's actually just really funny. He's winning the whole game, makes a blunder, and loses. Uh, guess the Elo exactly. Thank you, thank you so much to Roadside Assistance AAA for the two months. And Piracy TV for the 25 months. Appreciate. It. Yeah, that's uh yeah not not good not good to put it mildly. So. All right. Okay, round number four, last game before we hit the first break in our early title Tuesday. God is still talking about the same guy. Yeah. Did I see some of the new AI streamers? They're scary. I haven't followed any of that stuff. I'm aware of it. Um. Let's play the Balrog defense. Okay, you guys, you guys want? I'm gonna play D6. Let's play the Balrog. I'm gonna play the Balrog defense here. It's a good opening. I've done a couple of YouTube videos on it, and for the memes, I have to play it again. Okay, I think knight c6 is actually correct if I remember this line now. Because I, I did a video on d5 allows knight before. So I go knight f6 here. I'm going to play rookie one. And then you just castle.
It goes knight c3. Now, in the video I did the other day, I think e5 equalized, but it only equalizes. And I need to win the game, right? I need to win this game, right? A draw is not good enough. Now, I can trade and play e5, which I believe I also said was playable, or at least when I was looking at the line the other day. I think it's playable. Um... All right, let's just go e5. If he if he equalizes, he equalizes. That's life. Uh, yeah, this is the Balrog opening. Uh, you know, the Balrog, the mythical creature from Lord of the Rings, features very prominently in um, uh, I believe was that is that the end of is that the end of the uh, first one? That's the, in the Fellowship of the Ring, but also features I think quite prominently in the Silmarillion as well. So, yep. All right. So if he takes, I mean, I guess I pre-move. I mean, this is, I played bishop g4 against Rustamov, just to be clear. Bishop g4, bishop e2, and like, I think I played e6 or something, and that's how the game went. But here, obviously, I'm doing this. So, yeah. Again, you guys, I'm playing Title Tuesday not so much to win, but to create content these days. So I'm going to play these wild offbeat openings like the Balrog more, more consistently. Thank you so, so much to Botzer for three months. So, yeah. Call your pawns orcs for this game. Well, I mean, I got to win this game. Regardless, you guys will see a new YouTube video very soon um, about the Balrog. Now, if I take, he takes on C. So if I play knight before, what is he doing? Is he going bishop b5? If I go knight before, what is god? Or not god, sorry. What, what is <laughs> what, what is he doing? Um, okay. I think I'm going to play knight before here. Takes, I just take back. Um, thanks so much to Mighty Weeks for the Prime. Appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Losing my mind just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think Knight G4 is correct. Just just an assumption. Or not Knight G4. Knight G4 is correct. Because takes, takes, I put pressure on C2. I have E4 to create pressure on the pawn on B5 as well. Thanks so much to Bazooka Rock for the Prime. Thank you, Sir Will G for the Prime. Thanks so much. I only remember you have to attack nonstop against the Balrog. Yeah, I mean, you do. I mean, I'm going to pre-move queen f5. It doesn't take him. What's he doing, really? I don't... I mean, bishop b5 is, I guess, a move. And then I probably go queen f7, queen g6. So I, I kind of like my position. So thank you so much to Giant Tazi for the 13 months. Thank you so much to Giant Ozzy. Thank you so much. Okay, takes. It goes rookie to e4 is a move I want to play. I think it's... 94, queen h5, 96. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know. It looks playable. Maybe it's not, but it looks playable. So we'll find out. I mean, probably I go queen h5. Knight d4, queen h5. Whoa, that's not the move I expected. Um, okay, now which knight do I take with is also a big question. Because I can also take with this knight. I'm going to take with this knight for the memes. He can play knight f7. I'll trade and go bishop b7 and just chuck an exchange because I don't care. I have a big black center. He's probably, unfortunately, going to trade the knights, which is very sad, but it is what it is. Now, again, I don't have any weak pawns in the center, so I should be doing fine here. It's just a matter of how to... Um, how to create chances to win. Now, bishop e7, knight g3, queen f7 looks fine. Yeah, I think I got to develop the bishop here, basically. It goes queen d3. I go... Okay, I can play rook f8 here as well, I guess. Yeah, just rook f8 to guard everything. Bishop d2, logical move. I have knight f4. I mean, bishop h4 is a move. It's not the move I want to play. I mean, the move that I want to play is something like h6, or maybe just king b8 and knight of, Maybe knight f4 is actually quite good here. Don't like it, though. Knight b6 seems like a pretty solid move to play here. Just want to get rid of this knight. I have a 4 on 3 in the center, so I'm a little bit better, maybe. Maybe a little bit. I'm just going to go h6 here. If I go d5, he has this very... Oh, no, d5. He doesn't have knight g5. What am I doing? Oh, that was very stupid of me. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to try bishop h4. Eh, g3, bishop e7. How do I do this? Maybe just rook f7, actually. Yeah, maybe just rook f7 to guard everything here. And then I can stack the two towers. And I don't know if I love my position, but I think it's okay. He's also way too low on time here. Way, way, way too low. Okay, it goes knight g3, so I trade. I go king d7, of course, to guard the b shop. I could have put the knight back on d5. In fact, I think I should have done that right away. But I'll play bishop h4 to target the knight. And then I'm going to go knight d5. Or where do I take here? Interesting. I'm going to play knight d5. Go here, probably bishop d8. I'm going to reroute my knight eventually. I also have g5 threats as well. Go here. I want to go knight f5, maybe d5 as well. 
Um, let's go here, target the rook. Let's go here, threaten the fork. Let's go here, kick the pony out of town. Oh, I d4 too. I could take... I can also play h5 here. g5, knight g4, takes knight e5 is kind of annoying. Knight e3 and d4 doesn't look right. Bishop e3, bishop f2 is a move as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to take and play g5 here. There's bishop d2. And play g4 if I want to. I don't really want to. But maybe I should because I have knight d4 actually. He was back. Okay, I can play d4, but I think I just offer the rook trades here. This should be good. All the pawns are on light square, so I assume this end game is winning. He goes there. I can play h5, which I think is just a good move to consolidate. I go here. Again, all the pawns, everything's on the wrong color for him. Like, everything's on the wrong color. I have a bastion as well. Now, the question is, do I trade the rooks or not? I'm sure that's good enough, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to massage the position and start pushing P on the on the queen's side. Let's go here, A6. I have always have that. I think D4 is good because now I have knight E3 with the connect 5. Connect 5 is OP, right? Look at this connect 5 check. I can go A5 now. He just resigns. We get the win. Big dub. Yeah, connect 5 is just too OP. What to say? In fact, it's actually a connect 7 if you look at it. Um more precisely so connect seven we get the one with the balrog um and we move to four out of four so very very good thing is my guy steve for the tier one ss ss batch for the prime tito marcel for the prime and clumsy pilot things which are only one even pilot for 28 months so yeah connect seven we get the win we're on four out of four let's see who else is playing obviously there is a six minute break um will i play the balrog tomorrow i have no comment maybe i will maybe i won't you never know you never know Okay, what's going on here? Rook c2, e3, e2, black wins here. Yeah. Chess bras won three to one. Okay, God, it doesn't talk in the stream. Well, I mean, it's one of the hardest things being a streamer, especially if you're playing chess, because it's very difficult to play at the same level that you're playing when you're talking all the time. Now, of course, I am unique because I can do it quite well because I'm just used to playing very good chess all the time. Um, but for a lot of people, it's very difficult to do it because your mind has to sort of be split a little bit of, of two minds. Um, but at any rate, uh, yeah, it's, it's not it's not always easy. Thank you so much. Jose is the way for the seven months. Appreciate it. Um, okay, what, wait, this is Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Bishop. What? It's a joke. Some kind of yeah. Okay, very weird. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Levo for the prime. You're very humble. OMG. Yeah, exactly. Um, right. Okay, uh, where where were we? But it, but no, joking aside, it is very difficult. Um, this is probably just a draw. Rook g two and king h four. King h five. Okay, I mean rook versus rook. Or... We're gonna get a draw, right? Yeah, or not? Rook g five. Okay. All right. I think it's because you have ADHD. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do not have ADHD actually. Um, Okay, another El Clasico. We're going to get a quick draw. No, we're not going to get a quick draw. Okay. Uh, there is a cash prize. Yes, $1,000. Yeah. Okay, you guys. I'm going to take my break and go use the restroom. I don't really want to. I don't really want to keep watching. This is decisive, so be it. But I'll be right back. Anyway, all right. Round number five. Let's get going. I'm going to play Knight of Three here. <laughs> um omega also yeah let's play knight f3 <laughs> okay anyway let's play knight f3 okay i'm gonna play g3 keep it very simple here um g3 g2 beware of the bulldog i i mean i always feel bad when i see the when, when i see like bulldogs because like they, they have that face and it's just i don't know it's sad because they can't like they always have that i, I can't even do it but you, you guys know what i'm talking about i'm playing 92 e4 play the king's indian attack like my great hero, Robert James Fisher, hero on the board of chess, obviously. Um, I'm going to play e5, knight f1 again, or maybe I'll, no, I'll go knight f1, because I always need to be able to play bishop f4 to meet queen c7 attack in the pawn. Let's go h4, h5. Probably g4. I mean, bishop f4 looks good. Just to support the pawn, I can reroute the knight either way now. It's always questionable whether you want to move this bishop or not, but I, I love it. 
Bulldogs can't really breathe due to their facial structure. Oh, that's sad. I didn't know that. It's actually really sad. Okay, now A3 is always correct here. Take with a pawn. It's actually pretty much cutting edge theory that we're playing right now. Yeah, you got to play A3 because normally if black has to play A3, B3, you can never really play in the center here because black grips these squares. So that's why you play A3 so that you can always play C3 and potentially D4 down the road. Okay, knight d4, interesting move. Now, I could trade. I think c4 is actually a better move here, though. c4 allows knight b3, rook b... I'm going to do it. I, I don't know. I think c4 is correct. If knight b3, I go rook b1. If dc4, I just trade and win the game. I'm trying to open up the scope on the diagonal. I don't think knight d4 was actually a good move. Now, I could take on d5 and play d6, which is very interesting, potentially. Potentially, but I'm just going to keep it simple with rook b1. No need to get really cheeky here. I think I'm doing quite well. Can I play chess in the hood? What do you mean by that? I mean, I, I don't know what you mean by in the hood. I mean, Stringer Bell. Was it Stringer Bell? I think Stringer Bell played chess in the hood, right? He was playing with... Um, I forget which character that was, but I think he was playing chess, right? Uh, let's play... Which knight? I'm going to... Hmm, if I put this knight, he can go back to d4. If I put the other knight, he can go to a5. I think this is the right knight. So I think this knight needs to, needs to support the pressure in the center of the board here. Oh, it's D'Angelo. Yes, it was D'Angelo. You're right. Correct. So I put this knight so that my other knight can go to the center to attack. Now he takes, which is also interesting because I don't know if I take with the queen or the knight. Both are playable. If I take with the queen, I want to put pressure. If I take with the knight, I relinquish the pressure in the center. I'm going to try to do the five head play with queen takes. I don't know if it's right, but I suspect that I'm going to try to force him to do something by putting maximum pressure on the center. Knight takes the knight had no way to pressure the pawn from D2. I think someone's just side boy for the three months. He goes rook a6. Now I can play knight e3. Queen c2 I think is the move that I want to play here. More pressure because I can also trade and win this pawn. Potentially if he plays like bishop g5. I think I'm I think I have a very good position here. I don't know if it's like winning or anything, but it feels very, very pleasant for me. Plays bishop g5. I thought I could maybe trade and take. Huh. I could also go bishop e3 here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go well, bishop e3. Yeah, I'm going to go bishop e3 to target the pawn. If he takes, I take with the knight. Plays d4, I can always trade and go queen e2 and guard all the pawns with the classic right triangle. His rook and knight are very poorly placed here as well. These aren't developed very well. And I control the open lane. So now do I take and play queen e2 is a question. I think I do trade. Queen e2, guard all the pawns. Now I can play f4 to kick the queen out of town. And then I take the square and then I jumpy jump and he's just going to lose the game. There we go. I think I'm already winning. That's just how bad this guy is. Um, 92 to play 94 is a move, but if I go 92, I can't play F4 because of take. So I assume I just go F4, build the chain, and I go back, and now... I mean, this looks horrible, but I do need to be precise here because there still are tricks. So let's go here. I mean, I have multiple jumps on the light squares, and it's game over. Now, F6, I expect... I can play Knight F3 here to trade. He takes F6, and 94 is also very, very pleasant, but... I don't really want to give him hope here, so how do I avoid giving him hope is a question. I don't want to think too long. Knight f3, fe5. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play knight f3, because he still can't develop the bishop. This bishop is very, very bad. And I also have knight h4 to create a bastion on g6. This looks pretty terrible for my opponent. Thanks so much to Lily's Lamb for the gift of sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, this looks terrible for my opponent here. Just terrible. King's Indian attack, baby. Do you want to become world champion? That's a stupid question because I already am a world champion. I won the Fisher Random World Chess Championship last year, so uh, I'm already a world champion. I've accomplished everything I need to accomplish. I, I, that's just a stupid question. Okay, I'm going to take. I'll take with a queen. Rook f5 loses to takes. I can go bishop e4, cover the light squares, weak pawns on e6 and c5, open lane for my rook on b1, pressure on the e-file. This is just very, very bad for my opponent. Let's just go here, put pressure on the... Queen d6. Okay, I expected that. Um, I can go bishop h3, which looks very good here. 
I mean, everything is very good here, so it's actually kind of tricky. I, I think... Yeah, I'm just going to go here. I'm up a lot of time. It's not the time to really think too long. I mean, it's just too much pressure everywhere here. Too much pressure. Pressure on the 7th rank from the Kebab. Pressure on the open E file as well. Just too much pressure everywhere. Just so many stress points in the black position. Okay, I assume I just... I take E6, I assume. I think I just go here. Yeah, very, very clean win for me. And now the pin, you, as we say to beginners, pin to win, game over. Thanks so much to Willie Styles for the nine months. Yeah, just very, very clean win here. It was G5. I mean, I don't think I even need to take. I'm just going to go here and take the B shop. There's no need. No need to be creative. Um, Rook F6. I mean... Okay, everything wins, so let's just think for a second. I guess I'll just... I mean, I don't even know what I'm, how I'm supposed to win this. Oh, he's trying to hes trying to set up a stalemate here. But just to be really mean to him, I'm going to play here. Because Rook G6, I just take. Let's just go here. Consolidate everything. Go here. Guard the pawn. Really? He's not going to resign? Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm starting to think, like, really? I mean, you're not going to resign here? Like, the king is completely cut off, and I can just... I mean, everything is guarded. The, the bishop guards the pawns. The rook cuts the king off on the rank. You can't even you can't even actually move your king over because the bishop also cuts off the king. So the king can't come up. It can't go over because of the rook and the bishop. Bishop also holds all the juice, and it's just very easy. All right. Five out of five. Let's see who else is still playing. Yeah. Would I rather have the double crown of Rapid Blitz or the 960 title? Um, I don't think I would prefer one way or the other. They're both pretty good. Watch Mashanik. He is, uh, whoops. What was that? What? I didn't mean to go there. Weird. Okay, let's go back to play. Yeah, I don't know why, why I did that. Uh, wait a second. Taking longer than usual to connect. Okay, let me refresh. Wait, what just happened? It's taking longer than usual to connect. Seriously? I thought we were over this. What's going on? Wait, what's going on? Okay, there we Okay, it reloaded. Okay, good. All right. So, a mechanic loses here, which means he's not on five points. Yeah. I think it's much at D waiting for seven months. Uh, pro streaming, trying to figure out chess how cute. Yeah, I mean, chess is a very ancient game. Very, very ancient game that people like to play. So, all right, we're on, we're on five out of five. Let's see who's still playing. Still a few games going. Stream is frozen. No, it's not. Or is it? Is the board frozen? Yeah, the board actually looks frozen, doesn't it? Wait one second. Let me, let me change the scene. Wait, why did it freeze? It's very weird. change to some random scene oh, i'm just changing for one second let me just make sure let me just change this for one second what what just happened to it let me just make sure oh no now it refresh wait wait now it refresh wait now it refresh what the heck that was really weird it just refreshed on its own right i didn't do anything and just refreshed Okay, that's just that's just wonky, but whatever. Very weird. Yeah. So it's all good. Um, small indie company, exactly. No, no, that, that was just OBS. I guess just just freaked out for a second. Knight G4 is still winning for White here with Knight F6 or Knight H6. Um, just Rook F7 and Knight F6. Yeah, game over. Is Dubov top 10? You mean over the border online? I don't know what you mean. Um, I think it's much the, the Duke of eight, uh, Duke of Anus for the two months. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we have Rook and Knight versus Rook here. Um, okay. This should still be a draw. Um, and I guess you go King D2. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, King E4. This should be a draw. Let's see. Dayak, by the way, really struggling. He's already lost the game. I mean, just check. King c2 or king b3, I guess, is okay. King King b ooh, rook h2, king d1, king c3. 
Maybe just king e1, king f1. Should still be a draw. When was the last capture? Let's see. Yeah, okay, we hit the 50 moves. Game ends in a draw. All right. Okay, we're on five out of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people on five points. Is it more important to learn the basic opening principles in a particular opening? Of course it is. No, I mean, learning a specific opening is it's useful up to a point uh, to avoid just like getting cheese at the start of the game. But realistically, as long as you have a basic setup that avoids like basic che basic checkmates where you can develop a couple of pieces, castle your king, that's all you really need. That's all you really need. Okay, we're playing Mitraba. Uh, I'm going to play D6 again. Let's play the Balrog. Oh, dude, you, you missed your chance. I can still play a Dutch. Yeah, Fudge, let's play a Dutch anyway. Why not? Camera is not frozen. Thank you. You can't see the standings? What do you mean? It's not frozen, is it? No, it's not frozen. Only click on the standings. No, you're right. You aren't seeing standings. What the heck? No, it's not showing standings. I'm actually changing the standings. That hasn't updated. No, no, that's, that's correct. Let me just turn that off. Why is it freezing up? One second. I might just turn it off and then return it back on. Where's the standings? Let me just turn this off for now. Just let me play the game and then we'll deal with it later. Because I'm down 30 seconds on the clock now. Um, I'm just going to go E6 and Queen 7. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know, actually. It's very weird. What's what's going on? Okay, let's play Queen E7 here. Uh, I might just go A5 here. Try to try to close the Queen side B6. Bishop B7, Knight D7. I mean, okay, I will go here to stop C5. here develop the bishop i like my position actually i can play knight e4 here i think i'm gonna play h6 though basically the idea is simple just to stop any weird knight g5 nonsense let's go here probably he'll play bishop f3 i expected that i will just whoops i will just trade now i want to play e5 at some moment but it's very hard to force e5 in i can go g5 g4 i think i'm gonna go queen f7 though i don't even know what why i'm playing queen f7 but i, I guess i want to go g5 he wants to go c5 okay but now i have 94 because he can't take because then he loses the f2 pawn so i'm trying to relieve some of this light little pressure here that i have to deal with rook c1 okay not worried i go g5 still can't take because he loses material i can put the other knight on f6 maybe i kind of like my position here yeah i'll fix it uh after the next game i don't know i don't know what happened it's like yeah um i think he card needs a mod standing next to him saying focus on the game so you're saying i need like a coach okay um let's just go g4 all aboard the choo-choo train i can play f4 next move no c5 so it's like okay i mean maybe he goes knight e1 but then i have e5 if he goes knight e2 i think i'm still gonna play e5 here to try to play in the center of the board a lot of options a lot of play i'm still down 30 seconds which isn't great but i think my position is re relatively decent i'm actually very surprised by that move i did not expect that at all um that's actually really surprising take i don't like that move at all um king g8 or king h8 a big question i don't know which one's right i can also play knight g6 maybe do i want knights or bishops on the board is also a big question here also i think i'm just gonna go here in f4 i think i'm happier with queens off the board than knights just a guess but i could be wrong Oh, I also have knight f3 check, I just realized. Knight f3 is a big threat, too, actually. Wait. Knight f3, trade, trade, queen g4, king h1. I'm trying to find some way through, but I don't see it. I mean, I can also just go rook e8, maybe. Yeah, maybe I just play rook e8, play a simple with h5, h4, just attack. Because he can't ever really break through on the queen side here, so he takes. I expected that um rook or bishop tough question i'll take with the rooks if he moves and i to go rookie four to put pressure on the pawn so i go h5 here and the point is that if he ever moves knight, i always have rookie four at some point so i'll go h4 oh i gave him rook d5 that was actually really stupid of me i should not have allowed that that being said i'm still probably a little bit better if i play this precisely rookie four is not the move i'm also way down on clock i just realized so i gotta move quicker um bum 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 what do I want to do? H or H3? Think, 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 and make a move. Make a decision. I'm going to take and play Queen H5. Yeah, now I'm regretting the 30 seconds I lost at the start of this game. I'm regretting it kind of bigly. I still think I'm fine here. It's just not easy to win. 
really should be no actual problems for me in this position. I guess my idea is to go King G6, maybe. Let's go here. I can just take. I also have Rook H8, threaten mate. Oh, I missed 92. Shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed that. Oh, crud. Um. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, yeah, yeah. That was a mistake by me. Shoot. Do I have rookie four? Rookie four and I have. No, rookie four. I guess I'll go here and trade and play like. I guess I have bishop g5 and rook h8. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a problem. I'm very far down on the clock here. So I take, so I take. I go here and rook h8. I could have played rook h8 right away, but this actually threatens rook d8 as well to cover the file. Goes there. I'm going to play here because I still have rook h8. I still have rook d8 as well. So it's a multi purpose move. Okay, that's a blunder. I've rook d8. He missed rook d8. Now, okay. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to, I'm not necessarily winning here, but I should never really be able to lose this position. I have the queen versus the rook and the knight. I mean, he's still way up on clock. I have queen c5, I have queen before, I also have f4 somewhere. I'm gonna go here to win the pawn. I mean, it's looking. Oh, I should have played queen b4, actually. Queen b4 is a better move. Knight d5 looks very weird. Okay, but now I just take and I just win the game. Or I should win the game. I always have f4 still lurking. Yeah, this is just not a fortress. I'm gonna go f4 here. Whoa, um, check. I mean, this can't possibly be saving. I just go g3, ggs. Or actually, I even just take, because it's just a, it's just a, yeah. Ggs, six out of six, there we go.